Hey everyone, my name is Brooke Hurd, and I believe this is part six in our OneNote series. And in this section of the video, we're going to be talking about how to add content into our subpages and pages that we have created. So this is the same notebook that we had open instead of the last video. And now we're just going to go through and add in content to each of the pages that we have created. Um, so here I am instead of the notes section. And as a reminder, you can add a page by right clicking and click on new page and it will automatically make it a subpage if you have a subpage already there but if not you can go here and click on make subpage and it will go in and indent that for you so now that we are have our page created we're going to go in and add in the content that we want to add so we're underneath the notes section so I would want to add in my notes here so I'm gonna go over to my tabs of menu options within OneNote and click on insert after I click on insert, you need to make sure that you have left clicked inside of the white space of the page that you're on. And then all of these options up here will appear. So we're going to start by first adding a file. So we're going to go to file and click on the drop down. Click on insert file attachment. So this is going to insert the file as just an attachment into the OneNote. So I'll go to my documents, click where my file is. And I can either click on a PDF or a Word document or even a photo. Since we're doing our notes, we're going to click on our combining like terms, doodle notes. And I'm going to come here and click insert. And it takes a minute to load, but then this will be your file right here. So if I wanted to open this as a viewer or as a teacher, I could click double click on it, hit the download button, make sure you allow your downloads, and then open them up. And here they are. Now, if I wanted people to see the actual notes pages um, without them having to click and download a file, then instead of clicking on insert file attachment, I can go to the file tab and click on insert file print out. So we're going to go ahead and click on that and then choose file. We'll choose the same file again, the doodle notes, and click on open, then insert. Now, the longer the file is, the longer it's going to take for all of the pages on it to upload. And you can also see up top here, when we do file insert, it's going to go ahead and attach that file for me as well. So I've got two of them on here, so I'm going to go ahead and delete one of them by clicking on it, right clicking it, and you can either hit cut or you can click on it and then just hit the backspace button and it got rid of it. So sometimes there are sections of the printout that you may not want um, your students or others to view. So if there is a section or a page that you do not want on that printout, you can just simply come click on the page and then hit the back space button. So here I might click on the page and then hit the back space button. And now you can see that we have the actual notes listed up top here. And I can scroll down if I don't want them to have access to the work, then I can go and click on it and then hit the backspace along with all the answers here. Make sure that they don't have those as well. So as simply as clicking on it and then hitting that backspace button. Now we're left with only the notes here. Now if I wanted to come in here and add in a different type of page, then I can come and click on, let's go ahead and go to the classwork section, so just untitled page. I'm going to once again make sure I'm clicking on that inside section and then go to the insert tab. You can see we have other options to do a picture or audio so we'll go ahead and show you what inserting a picture looks like. It gives us three different options here. We're going to do from a file and here's our photo that we're going to insert so I'm going to click on it and then click open and then insert. And it goes ahead and drops that photo right here and it may just take a second for that photo to load up. You can come up here and title um, the page if you would like. So we can put um, parts of an expression example. And it will change the title over here as well. Now sometimes you might want to insert an audio file. So we can go to insert. Make sure you click on that big white section. And then you can go to audio. Same thing, you're going to click on the audio and it's going to go ahead and start that audio recording. So once that audio recording has started, it is recording everything that you are saying. So you can hit stop if you want. 
and then go back later and click on that audio recording. Another way to insert audio is instead of clicking on the audio button, if you want to go over to file and click on file, insert file attachment, and then click on the audio that you want to insert into the page. So this would be for your pre-created audios versus recording the audio live. Have other types of inserts as well that you can put on the page, such as a table, if you would like. There's an example of what it would look like. Um, or you can insert a link to a website. So we could go to youtube.com and then put the display text as YouTube. Um, you can also insert your symbols, of course, your emojis. And then later on, we will show you some of the um, fun Office add-ins that you can put into your OneNote as well, if you have the premium version. So hopefully this has been helpful for understanding how to add content into your different pages and subpages. Um, as we continue throughout the series, we'll be going into more detail about some of the other features that we have within OneNote and what you can do with those features.